This is 6 a.m. in the morning and I'm moving down to Lagos to take down every packed good item. In my previous video, that was my last video, I show how I packed my food item to be shipped outside the country. So this is 6 a.m. in the morning. I'm taking them down to Lagos. I have to leave very early because I want to beat the traffic in Lagos. So ride on with me. So when I'm going, I'm like Champion, it's so fun. It's so watery. So, I like taking this in the morning. So if you are the type that doesn't like taking anything in the morning, especially when it's very early in the morning, I can advise you can go with custard. So I have champion custard with me, which I usually like taking when I'm traveling, like going out very early in the morning. I won't be able to take anything that is solid. I'll just make this just with hot water, add my milk and add my sugar and I'm good to go. Coming down to Lagos, I want to take you around just how the shipping process really goes on. Not just the packing of the food stuff this time around. What really happened behind? How does they carry these food stops outside the country? So I'm here at the time. Different countries, though they will not allow me to go beyond this level just because I'm not part of their staff. But if you go behind, if you open this gate, we have aeroplanes well packed and they are of different country taking only food stops. So I have to interview this man and he just gave us little. Yes, Okay. <laughs> system. The food item I bought are in front of the NDLEA. They have to check it and check if there's anything contraband or if I'm adding anything to any substance I'm taking down. So the first process is they are going to check everything completely. I have not been showing you this in my previous video, so I just want to make sure, okay, this time I'm going to give you details. So no matter how well you have packed your things from wherever you are coming from. Once you get to this place, they must surely check it. They're going to open it, everything now. So most times when you see us, we have we, it, things are well packed and uh, well arranged. But yeah, when you get here, everything is going to be open. They are going to observe. They are going to check everything in details. So that is what you see them doing here. Everything I've already packed, everything that I bought in, we have to be opened and they have to observe and check if uh, what I'm carrying, apart from being contraband, if they have not spoiled, if they are still in good shape. So this is what is actually doing, checking and um they have this particular instrument, do these particular tools they use in checking. So if there is anything that is not supposed to be or that is contraband, that thing is going to alert them. I think it's going to vibrate. So you can see me satin and checking. Though it's okay, it's okay to is is LD, it's not so like this one too. This is because I had two sets of fish. They have carton and the full carton. So for this full carton, you know it's deep as in is a big carton so he couldn't dip his hand really so you just have to check them and make sure everything he checked everything so now uh, like i said in my previous video that i'm shipping down to different clients in different states so i have them in different batches so he has to do them all over 
set by set and he observed everything everything when i mean everything everything before we start packing <music> For this particular food item, my client told me the, as an uh, okay, we've gotten a calculation of how much goods we are buying and the particular amount that is to ship. So she doesn't want to stress herself concerning the uh, monetary aspect. So I was actually making sure that the weight does not exceed the amount that we are having. So along the line, I bought excess food item for her, but I took them down to lagos so what i after packing you can see him is taking it he will just carry he carried it down to where he's going to weigh it and check if what we have if what if i've bought have not exceeded the particular weight because once i've exceeded that particular weight the money is going to increase whereby ah we did not plan for it. Yeah, mon kote yon rutele yon budo shikini. Nigeria ati ba ke yon ma shikini. Ke yon ma shikini. Kakulishon kito yon ma fe ekbe. Ki jekpe wakon debe wakon sofun ekbe 30 kg. Wano wade shikini wala ma sayi wo wo kini. So we'll have gotten the first sight of okay. This is how much they are shipping and we don't just carry. Now the other things, the other items are now neatly packed. You know, after they've scattered, they've done and they've checked and they realize that we are good to go. So the cheap guy is now sealing and packing. Now, the most funny thing about this place is this. If you are someone that always look at, okay, I want to ship goods to wherever I am, and um, this is how much I have, but some, a lot of things need to be considered. I'm going to share the full secret of what needs to be considered. These cartons you see here, I bought it with my money. It's not free. They don't give you carton for free. If you see us packing inside this carton, and this carton is expensive. If you see us packing inside this carton, is money. The salute tape you saw us using is money. That salute tape you see, just that round one, is 1,000 naira, just the one. Then, apart from that, you're going to observe that, okay, I have palm oil. Across, ahead of me, where you saw people standing, that is where they usually measure. Everyone in this narco area, everybody, no matter how big your goods are, you are coming to this particular place to wait, to know the weight. So that is one thing, although just because my client is standing in front of where they are going to wait, gives us the opportunity to see as they are waiting. So everybody is bringing down their goods. No matter how heavy it is, you are going to bring it down here and wait. Very shady. If you like, if you can carry it, you carry it. Whatever you can use, you must bring it down to this spot. To wait. Now, this yellow object is my palm oil. It is well wrapped. To wrap this palm oil, yeah, is three thousand. I just just to wrap this one. This just one wrapping. So you can see the way it's well packed, well wrapped. Well, what actually happened is um they don't want the oil in any form 
to stain the carton whereby it's going to affect all the carton. So they have to make sure that it is well packed in such a way that it can never leak out. And to do that alone for just one cake is 3,000 naira. Which when you didn't tell your client about it and your client realized, oh, charges for this, they will just think maybe you are trying to exploit them. But me, I'm going to give you the full secret. You pay for it. So for having two cakes, I pay 6,000 naira each just to wrap. Only wrap, you know, not <laughs> Niger. It is well with us. King Coffee wrap we rule us 3,000 equal keggy can. Kishi keggy meji. Well, we go ahead and make it long. Let's ride on. So like this, my client asked for granite and everything is now packed. Then we seal everything up. <laughs> palm oil the top that they wrote top top shows that is the top of the cake you, so that when the client is opening you'll be able to say okay this is the top of the palm oil cake or this is the bottom so we usually make sure that we write on top so when you are opening it you'll be sure where you start your opening from so that you open from the downside or you're going to or tie it in such a way that it's going to pour out. So that is the essence of once they finish wrapping it, they are going to put top for you to know that this is top. And this is wrapped with, um, I think um, they use um, what it's floater, floater and enough cello tape to wrap it up. <music> being packed so this is the three cartons going to different clients so their name their address i've addressed it to the people that are going and their name <laughs> The load has been packed. Every item has been well packed. So I'm moving back to Ibadan. So I got an Uber car, which took me down to Lagos and wait for me till everything I'm done with packing. Then he also take me back to Ibadan. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video. Give this video a thumbs up. See you in my next video. Bye.